What is going on, everybody? Guys, I want to tell you, I'm partnered with KCEX. That's these guys right over here. This is a non-KYC exchange. So if you want to use a place where you can trade freely, if you are looking for a place to do futures trading, this is a high liquidity place where you can go and trade today. And I'm going to do a trade for you right now. And we're going to talk about a few things before we kick it off. Now, if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, the bell to be notified. I'm gonna give you a couple of tips and things that I look at when I'm making a move. Now, I wanna say this, you know what? Let me just pull this up and you guys can see it for yourself. Okay, so step one, what am I looking for? Historically, if you wanna be a successful trader, there's plenty of different indicators that you can use. You know I like high IQ, you know I like a lot of different indicators, you know I love uh, the moving averages, RSI, all of the pieces. You know I like all these pieces. But the number one indicator that will tell you whether or not you're going up or down, it's right here. It's fear and greed index. Where is it right now? It's tweener, if you will. It's right in the middle, and that presents a problem. Why does it present a problem? Well, it presents a problem because if it's in the middle, it could go either way. Now, it's coming off of a high of around 75. What do you do at 75? Sell everything. The general consensus here is if you go to the fear and greed index and you buy when the fear and greed index is between 20 and 30, and then you sell when it's between 70 and 80, you will always win. Now, does that mean every single time? No, of course not. Nothing is perfect. There's, 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 there's no perfection here. Uh, if you buy at 20, it could go down even more. If you, uh, if you sell at 80, it could still go up even more. It, it, there's any number of things that can happen. But historically, that is the safest and best method in which to buy. We're going to go against that today because I have a, a play, an idea that I want to approach with you guys right now. Trading view. It really gave me a, a large dump, the second dump on a downward trend for Bitcoin after coming up and scoring another high very near 70,000. You see it wicked out at 70,040, but really the trade volume uh, mostly in that 68 and a half thousand. Well, we're down to 64,700. Here's the thing we just got FOMC news. The news was not great, but good. We've probably got rates cut at some point coming up very soon. There's been some uh, inklings that there might be some problems coming out of um, Israel over the next little while. But let me show you something. Despite all of the negativity, Bitcoin has really been kind of flowing at a pretty good level here and continuing to move up, 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 despite that you're not seeing it uh, uh, on this hourly, you know, the hourly is going to show you a lot of downward momentum. But when we come to the daily <coughs> and we zoom out right here, then we see that we got a nice little dip over here, took us down into that 53, 54,000 range. And the next thing you know, we're on our way up. Now, the Bitcoin ETFs continue to accumulate. So my preferred partner here, KCEX, I have some futures money that I'm going to use right here. I've got about $300 put into this uh, put it $324 in here right now. What am I going to do? Well, I'm going to go and I'm going to go on a Bitcoin long. Now, I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to be honest with you. I am nervous about this position. I feel like Bitcoin is ready to take off. I feel like this was the dip of dips that took us down, that gave us that nervous pause that, that kind of matched up with this previous region right here. And then it stopped and it reversed immediately. Now, with that being the case, I feel like Bitcoin could go down a little bit more. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I look at this right here at 60. I look at this right here and I see how high up we actually are. However, if you look at this range right here, then you will see that you know we've really just continued to move upwards long-term. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm coming over here. I'm going to make a buy. I'm going to make a buy in the 64,000 range. I'm going to change my leverage position to 5X. I'm going to make it 5X. It's going to be a small amount. It's going to be a small win in the event that it's a win. I'm not prepared to do a large amount on this, but I'm going long. I'm going long because 
The FOMC came out today. They did not cut rates, but when they do that, and when this happens, what that tends to do, we're going to go ahead and pop this long in right now. So we're active on this long. We, we got in at 64,679. Now it's a matter of wait and see, of course, what happens. But the FOMC came in and they didn't raise the rates. It didn't go where we thought it was going to go. Uh, you know, we were hoping for a rate cut. We didn't get the rate cut, but what we did get was a dump. This dump came in and we went from 66,500 all the way down to 64,500. That to me feels like an opportunity to buy. Now, will that manifest itself as positivity? Stick with me for just a second. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button on the way in. So here's the 24 hour liquidity map. We have swept the liquidity pool, meaning the next pool that's available is up here at 67,000. So it is my belief that we are probably going to spike very soon into that liquidity pool at 67,000. Now let's zoom out just a little bit. This is on the one month and we need some confirmation of that. Now, where are we? There could be a move down into this range at 63,465. The market is pushing down. It is trying to sweep into as much of this as possible. So let's go back and see why did I hit 5X? Well, I hit 5X because it is my belief that we do have a liquidation event potentially coming, but I don't think that it goes below 52,000. Therefore, I'm gonna set myself with a low margin sort of position just to kind, I want to get in the, I want to get in, I want to see a win, okay? 52,064 is going to be my number for the moment right now. Um, it, it, and by the way, I'm going to DCA my way over the course of the next couple of days in the event that this comes down. It's not going to go down to 52,000 overnight. At least it shouldn't go down to 50, 52,000 overnight. What it should do is continue to rise and continue to go upwards, okay? Uh, we're already up, um, 1%, not a, not a big deal. We're already up a few bucks um, or a buck. Uh, but here's the thing. If it comes down into this range, I'm still good with this. I think this is you know probably necessary. But here's the next part. Now that we're on one month, the one month shows me that the big liquidity is right there at 70,000, showing me that there's a phenomenal amount of money and capital sitting in that range in the billions. Uh, so, and what does that mean more broadly? Let's come out here and go to the six month number. What does the six month number look like? Because again, we're looking for liquidity pools and we're looking for places where we can go in and we can just grab money, right? Well, the, the biggest spot is gonna be down here at 50,000 and that's not happening. It's just not happening. Uh, down here in this 63 and a half kind of range, there's a couple billion dollars. So that is on the table, but here it is. 70,000, over 70,000, there's 6.25 billion sitting right there. And up here above that all time high is another 6 billion, another 6 billion, another 7 billion, another 6 billion, another 4 billion. There is a huge amount right now. The bears have been defending 70,000. They've been defending 70,000. They haven't been defending 65,000. They haven't been def defending 68,000, okay? Bulls continue to step in. They continue to push the price up. When I look at the final indicator, and this is the important one, and this is the Bitcoin ETF. Now, all, all parties have not reported yet. It does take a little while before everybody reports their day. So right now we're down $7 million, but look at this. We've had so much inflow over the last few days that a correction was due. Now, with these inflows, that drove us up to around 70,000. Didn't stay there, but it, it brought us back down where we are right now. So now the next thing that I think is going to happen is I think that we are going to do another big test. And I think we're headed to an all time high. We are still really just kind of ranging inside this box. Now that we set this box up in February of this year and we are still ranging in here. We are now, this is the having right here. We are now 103 days post having. What happens very, very soon? And guys, the, the number of days is rapidly declining, okay? Until the blow, the explosion. So what I think the safest move for me right now is this. I'm going to take this. I'm going to risk that. It's only a couple bucks, right, by the way. But I'm going to risk this. And if you want to, go to KCEX because, again, it's a non-KYC entity. You can come out here. I can do whatever you do whatever you want. And, by the way, it is my understanding that they're going to be listing a couple of tokens that I am partnered with coming up in the next little while. So uh, be on the lookout for some of these uh, to, to start showing up. Uh, futures trading, maybe. Uh, um, swap trading, of course. 
So uh, what do I think is happening? I think that we're getting ready for another big move. I think we're going to see 80,000 very, very soon, a lot sooner than some of you think. Um, and if you think tomorrow, you're thinking too soon. But we are going to see that. Now, let me summarize this. The, uh, the fear and greed index is at 60. It's going to come down tomorrow, by the way, because we dumped about $50 billion on the day. So it will come down a little bit. That's going to make it more attractive to enter into a position around this price. The Chinese market, the Asian markets have not opened up yet, so I don't know how they're going to react. We're at 6.49 p.m. at the time of recording the Central Standard Time. So they have started on the clock, but we haven't really seen any kind of explosive move one way or another, and we may not see one. It, it might just be you know, an overnight thing. Now, there's some, some, some worries over Israel and Iran right now because the leader of Hamas, I believe, was killed in Iran. So I do think that there is a problem. I do think we have a problem to deal with. And also, we could see a run on Bitcoin because altcoins start to pump. However, let me close that out. The Ethereum ETF today had one of its worst days. Again, we had one positive day, and then today is down 105 million. So we're not having, I don't think that we're, I don't think that we're currently at altcoin season or even close to altcoin season. We need a pump out of Bitcoin that takes us to a new all-time high, and we need a nice significant pump before we see any kind of alts sort of explode. You might see meme coins or something like that explode. It's a little different scenario, but uh, so we're entering this long. We're going to be in it for a little while. Uh, we're going to, we, we 5X it, by the way. We're going to add to this as we need to. Uh, we're not going to DCA our way up, but we are going to DCA our way down in the event that we need to come down. We'll add a few more hundred dollars at 55,000. We'll, we'll set another buy. Uh, I'll move, you know, we'll move some funds from the wallet over to the, the futures and we'll do that as we go. But I just want to give you guys an idea here of what's going on. If you haven't already, certainly go sign up at KCEX today because uh, this, I, I'm really, uh, I, I, you guys know I have my problems with MEXC. I do not have problems with KCEX. They are timely every single day. They pay me on time. Uh, so, you know, this is, um, this is where I'm going to be doing business for a while. So uh, if you have any questions, then, you know, you can ask me in the comment section down below. Those of you that know me, you know, and you can reach out to me at X at any time. If you have any questions about KCEX, if there's no questions that I can't, if it's something that I can't answer, I will get you the, the answers that you need, but do some futures trading. Come over here and give it a shot. Again, I think this is a, I think right now, a low leverage, long position right now is probably going to go to the moon, but I'm guessing. I don't know for sure. Tell me what you think in the comments down below. This is not financial advice, but I'm always right. There are exactly three places that you need to be on Telegram. Cryptonomy Updates, where you get all the daily market updates and information that you need in order to be a successful investor. Cryptonomy Finance to get all of the news that you need to get you through this day. And Cryptonomy Community so that you can engage with other like-minded people to talk about what is going on in the cryptocurrency market. And do not forget to follow at Cryptonomy underscore Fi on X for all of your up-to-date information. All right, guys, looking in on my fixed deposits, as you can see, we've completed a couple of them right now. I earned 0.037 Bitcoin. 0.012 Bitcoin right now. That's about 0.05 Bitcoin, a couple thousand dollars in value at this point. What I'm going to do today, we're going to make another big deposit. I'm going to use 406 million SHIB. I'm going to stake this for nine months. Again, I do believe about nine months from now going to be the optimal time. So 71.8% APY. We're going to continue that. We're going to accept all right, now we're locked in with 406 million SHIB, 71.8% return. Uh, I think that's going to be a fantastic yield. Uh, super excited about this one. But as you guys can see, what am I earning over here? I've got an Ethereum that I'm going to pull out pretty soon, 0.67 ETH already. By the end of this, I'm going to have earned 0.99 Ethereum. My XRP, an extra 2,313 Ether XRP. Don't forget the magnificent yields being done on the ROIs right here for the launch pool. We are getting fantastic returns. Guys, you gotta stake with cryptonomy.finance. So guys, make sure you check out cryptonomy.finance today.